Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a fire extinguisher video because I don't do those that often. Um, this video does go out to the fire extinguisher fans. Today I'll be doing a full collection video. So this is literally every single fire extinguisher I own. Um, maybe less a few, but mostly pretty much everything that I have currently. So let's start up here with the collection shelf. This is in the exact same room as my fire alarm collection. Um, you might have noticed in my videos I have this lovely old dresser that I converted into an extinguisher display. Um, you can see it even has a little light under there, but on the top row you can see I have this kitty fire away. This is a plastic hit handle uh, unit. This one was converted into a lamp as you can see. Um, over here I have a badger fire extinguisher. This is a 10 pounder um, from about 1986. This right here is a really old kitty unit, or kitta, should I say. Um, you can see it's blue, and the reason why these ones are blue is because these were actually manufactured in the UK, and uh, dry powder units were blue back in the day. This right here is Camel. There shouldn't be a tag on there. Um, this one is really poorly designed with that sticker. You can barely read it, um, but this one is fully charged, and it does have the original tape. Um, this is a Burnzomatic extinguisher, nothing really special. This is a firefighter, it's one of those plastic type ones. Still has the original tape. Amrex Corp 2.5 pounders, again, this one um, is empty. Same with this, this is a fire control 2.5 pounder. Uh, this one is almost brand new. This is a Buckeye uh, fire extinguisher that was rebranded by Shield, manufactured 2021. This one is still good. Um, just I don't have it in service right now because I don't really need that. And then right here I have a really old Sears fire extinguisher with those nice little pictographs, but it's missing a bottom handle and of course it's not charged. Down here, um, I gotta go a little quicker so I don't make this video like 30 minutes long. Amrex 10 pounder, nothing special. Older Amrex 10 pounder, this is a kitty or kitta, I need to start saying kitta. Um, what do you call it? It's a six pound extinguisher, which is interesting. Um, I have another one here, but this one is empty. I have two 10 pound badgers. One is way older than the other. If I go back here. I have a new first alert 10 pounder, pretty cheap extinguisher. Uh, behind that first alert, uh, you can see I have one of these older Kitta units. I have a plastic handled Kitta. Um, I have another plastic Kitta, and then right back there, that's a first alert uh, 2.5 pounder. I have another Amrex 2.5 pounder. This one's newer. You can see it has the pictograph instead of that label. Um, this right here is an Ansel Sentry 5 pounder. It's just been rebranded by first alert. Um, over here, I have two of these curved plastic handle Kittas. I think that these were fairly decent for what they were. They were not part of the recall, and you can see this one is still holding pressure. Over here, I have a really old Badger 10-pounder. This one is one of those short ones. Um, right here, I have another 6-pounder. This is an Amrex. Um, you can see that it has a lot of rust on the bottom. Back there, I have another kit of plastic unit, and then I have an American La France extinguisher. Right here, I have a kit of CO2. Obviously, it's empty. Um, and then right here, I have a general 5-pound BC extinguisher. So right here in the corner of my room, I have a few different extinguishers. They're all by Kitta, so that's why they're not in service, because I don't like the Kitta brand. Um, I think they're low quality. So this is a five pounder, four pounder, and then a kitchen unit. Of course, I do have these little tags on there. They are homemade tags. They're not like from a real company. I just have them on there for fun. Right here on my demo board, I have this really old chrome firefighter extinguisher. Um, I don't see a date, but I think it would probably be the 60s or something like that. This is a really old unit. All right, so I'm now in this closet. I call this the trash closet, and the reason it's called the trash closet is because it's absolutely full of kittas. Mostly these curved plastic handle units. Of course, they all leaked because they're garbage. Um, but you can see I have an entire closet full of them. They're absolutely everywhere. A couple metal handle ones. Um, of course, I have a couple up there, down here, but for the most part, everything down here is junk um, because A, it's either Kitta. Um, this is an old kitty or Kitta from a long time ago, but it's completely destroyed. Over there, I have an Amorex. It's a good quality extinguisher, but it was smashed. 
And then of course I have a really rusty badger back there, but that's pretty much these. So now that you've seen my display collection, which is just for display and not protection, I'm now going to show you the extinguishers I have for actual protection around my house. So the first thing I have is this. This right here is a Badger 10 pound CO2 extinguisher. I have it in the utility or boiler room just because there's a lot of electrical equipment in here that's sensitive. And if there was a fire, I wouldn't want to cover everything in powder. So that's why I have this. You can see it's in pretty good shape and it is tagged by the fake company that I created. Here on the basement stairs, I have a Amrax B402. This is a five pound ABC extinguisher. And of course it is under the extinguisher sign. And also of course, just for fun, I also have this uh, 15 pound carbon dioxide unit. It isn't tagged because I don't really trust it that much. It has dry rot and stuff, but it's mostly just here for um, aesthetics. Even though it is sealed because it is still fully charged, I don't really trust it that much. All right, so most home fires would start in the kitchen. So of course you want optimal protection there. And you can see for that purpose, I do have two extinguishers. This is a carbon dioxide extinguisher. It's only rated 5 BC and it is from 1986, but it is fully charged. And then of course you always want an ABC extinguisher. So that's why I have the finest Amrex products here. But yeah, the carbon dioxide is probably better because you know, if your pan catches fire, you don't want to flood your whole house with powder. So that's that. All right, so here in the garage, uh, fire hazards are absolutely everywhere. Of course, with cars and gasoline and all sorts of flammable things, I wanted a higher rated extinguisher. So right here, I have a 10 pound ABC extinguisher, again by Amrex, which is my absolute favorite brand. Um, this one is technically not code compliant. However, I think it's just perfectly fine. Um, they do tell you to get them hydro tested and stuff like that. However, just for home use, if they're in good condition, and they're fully charged and there's no dents or rust or stuff like that, it's most likely good. And yeah, that's why this is here. Right here at the bottom of the stairway, right next to the front door, I have this. This is another Amrex B402, um, ABC dry chemical five pounder. Um, I think this is a good place to have it because of course um, it's right near an exit, which is always good. And also uh, there's a lot of class A and C combustibles around here. So this is a good location. So right here in the study or the office or whatever, I have this. This is a Halon fire extinguisher by Kitta, unfortunately. Um, usually I don't want to have Kitta products in my house, but unfortunately this is the only Halon fire extinguisher I own. It is fully charged. It might be leaking. I don't think it is, but it could be. Um, this is from 1986. However, these units were not actually recalled. So as far as I know, this one is fine. However, I wouldn't trust it. And that's why there's an Amrex about 10 feet away. Finally, if we go upstairs into my room again, I do have another 10 pound Amrex just because of the sheer amount of stuff in here that could catch on fire. Um, of course, this is a really old one with the metal label, but it is still fully charged. Um, I do also have a general five pound CO2 here just because if there was a little fire, I wouldn't want to flood the room with powder because there is sensitive equipment in here. And then of course on the other side, I have an Amrex water mist extinguisher because I just like water mist in general. It's a really good extinguisher and yeah, that's pretty much that. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I do have to make a note that I did not get every single extinguisher. Um, there are uh, quite a few extinguishers I missed that are in my garage or places I can't really go to right now because it's raining. Um, but there are a few more, but I got a good majority of my collection. Alright, thanks for watching.